Welcome, everybody, to the very first Chop Social. Uh, this is basically the new format, right, Chris, that we yeah. came up with. We wanted to interact more with the community, interact, interact more with, with Chop Sports, either on Facebook or in a social setting or anything like that. So what better way to introduce one of our good buddies, Matt Ibanez. Matt, welcome to Chop Social, bro. Thank you for having me on, guys. I'm very excited to be here. I yeah. mean, it's, it, it took a while to get me on here, but I'm excited to we be here. We talked enough shit, and we finally got him <laughs> on the uh, on the podcast. But he's here for Chop Social. He'll also be joining us, if you're listening to this now, you already saw the uh, the, the last podcast. So he joined us already, and what a bang-up job he's done. <laughs> so we're, we're doing the Chop Social now, which is, involves the Chop 3. The Chop 3 has been heavily downloaded, heavily debated, so we bring up the three heavily Ist, heavily ist, heaviest. Work with it. Yeah, we'll work. Sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> I'm, I got experience. So, obviously, the three best posts that we've had this week. We'll start with one that's a little off, off the cuff, a little abstract, a little different. I, I loved, I loved, I loved, I loved like it, though. and so did Chop Sports because this, the 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 response was absolutely nuts. And this was since we are in tournament season. It is a tournament, so a bracket uh, that we we didn't really go through on winners and losers, but there's a debate to see like who belongs on this thing at all, and that is the top 16 cereals of all time. That's right. I'm looking at this bracket cereals. right now, and it's so fucked. Um, <laughs> first so, of all, the seedings in itself just make you really question a lot of these things. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, <laughs> this was posted by John Niebergall. Uh, yeah, Niebergall. So thank you for that one because it really did spark. A lot of debate. Uh, I'll go over the matchups, and you guys can cut me off as we go. But starting on a one seed. I'm going to cut you off right okay, away. Okay, one seed. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> how the fuck you got Fruity Pebbles as the 16 seed? And, the and you know, how you often Cinnamon Toast Crunch or Fruity Pebbles? Why are you the offing them right away? What if, what if the upset of a lifetime happens? Well, my, my point is, is you have to off one. Right, how so it's you, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. They both, the one they're, seed, both, they're both Elite Eight series. So they don't. So they don't know. They're not. They don't. They're not seeing this. So let me break it down for them. All right, all right, all right, Cinnamon Toast Crunch is your one seed against Fruity Pebbles as your 16th seed. When I think about Fruity Pebbles, I think about John Cena. Well, of course. <laughs> I mean, that's just that. <laughs> that's all the wrestling fans out there. Off, yeah. off the rip right there. Yeah. But you're saying it right now, Chris. That Fruity Pebbles, one of these two, got to go, and it's early. Yeah, that's way too early for for. <laughs> And if Fruity Pebbles knocks off Cinnamon Toast Crunch, is that really an upset? Is that really like a crazy upset? Fruity Pebbles is top three, arguably. Uh, again, so, as someone like me, I'm a huge Captain Crunch fan, but a three seed for Captain Crunch to watch my top of my mouth bleed like yeah, it's not, dude. That's but not like, something well, that I we're think we're talking about this before. That it makes the roof of your mouth bleed, but you go for the second bowl. So it's like Every time. in spite of the bloody mouth, you're still gonna. Fucking I'm gonna go, keep going. Go this is more. very true. So underneath that bracket, we'll, we'll continue on here. Cocoa Puffs is an eight seed, and they take on Frosted Mini Wheats at nine. I think this is actually appropriately, appropriately seeded here. Matchup. This is a fair matchup. This is very, I don't want to say similar because one's like chocolate and one's not. But I, I, to be honest with you, Cocoa Puffs all day uh, on that matchup over Frosted Mini Wheats. I don't know. Uh, do you guys feel? Uh, Anthony I'll, 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 like, I'll yes, never even eat I a still eat it. Mommy yeah. makes it for me every morning. I would definitely concur on that one. I would. Who I would the fuck eats frosted puffs. mini weeds? Right. That's like, what I'm I saying. Like, yeah, no, 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 cocoa puffs on, all day. Yeah. The five seed frosted flakes taking on the lucky charms of uh, the twelve seed. So if I could just get a bowl of marshmallows out of the lucky charms, then I'd be good. But the cereal part. You know, and good. honestly, living with <laughs> this is real, but we are debating. <laughs> right? My niece, my niece will go through the Lucky Charms and pick out all the marshmallows. So then yeah. I go to so make you're a marshmallowist. Bowl. Yeah, so I go to make a bowl, and it's just like alphabets with a little bit less sugar. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it's like, oh, this is fucked. I'm not dealing with none yeah, of that. Yeah, no dice. So no. all right, so is that a, is that a runaway with the Frosted Flakes? I would say and, Frosted Flakes. Yeah, I would go and, Frosted Flakes. Yeah, though. all right. I know the 12 seed t tends to upset the five in these tournament brackets, but not not in this <laughs> not case here. right here. We got a we strong have no, five. Uh, what was what was the the Tattoo that uh, Kern's got. No Oral Roberts. No Oral Roberts. No Oral here. Roberts coming. So if you. Lucky Charms would have won this, somebody would have to get a Lucky Charms tattoo. Uh, so now moving down, the four seed. This is a sneaky four seed. Honey Nut Cheerios taking on a very First low ranked all, Special K. Special 13. K belongs out of the fucking list. <laughs> So they don't even right, they don't even the belong on spot. the tournament spot. No wow. way. Okay. Definitely not seated above Fruity Pebbles. I know that there's no, health involved. I, I here, agree with that one. But if we're debating <laughs> with that just one. like breakfast cereals from like. You know, nobody's picking Special K. I'll pick Corn Flakes over Special K. Uh, oh, oh, right, wow. just regular. 
I listen. I think Honey Nut Cheerios is a uh, bro, deep, deep she, sleeper. Cheerio, in this Honey Nut Cheerios, big Cheerios a, guy. I love a, Cheerios. Oh, well, that's, that's one of my. <laughs> Bro, Honey Nut Cheerios got a strong bench. They got multi-grain Cheerios. They got fucking apple cinnamon Cheerios. They got like Oreo well, here, Cheerios. Well, here's my gripe. Here's my gripe. Here's my gripe. You got Honey Nut Cheerios at four, but as I look up and down the list, I don't see regular Cheerios. I've been a regular Cheerios guy my entire life, and it's not even worth the top 16 in the world. That's what I'm saying. Like, we need to get some sub, like... Could you group in Rice Krispies? Like are, you get are Rice Krispies bubble, treats. Are they a bubble cereal? Right? You, you know, like they have a playing game? Right. Cheerios? Is right. there regular NIT Cheerios? The cereal is bracket? There I, I don't know. Is there no, the I questions? Think, I think Cheerios is like the Coach K of this situation. Oh, where he didn't yeah. make the tournament okay. this time. Uh, so he just tanked, so he just it, on out tanked it on I'm purpose. Done. Okay. 2021, not for the Cheerio. Uh, six, Fruit Loops taking on the 11 seed Honey Bunches of Oats. Oof. Mm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this. Fruit Loops, man. Honey Bunches I, of Oats is another one with a strong bench. Okay, they got some. They got some oat honey oat clusters. They got vanilla clusters. <laughs> yeah. They have fucking cinnamon clusters. <laughs> this guy's a breakfast yeah. guy, right? right? You would think. And and there's a lot of, there's a lot of surprisingly, people in that house. T- surprisingly tasty for a healthy cereal. <laughs> That's I very true. Add. Very true. Um, uh, now three uh, Cap and Crunch at a three seed. This is very high for them, I think. And they're taking on life. He likes it. Mikey likes Mikey it. Mikey likes, likes it. it. And uh, we're, we're, th- th- weren't you almost the Mikey guy? Or no, 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 that, no, no, that you, was right? way before my time. But we'll, you know. <laughs> did I just say we're not talking about this on air? And then he fucking has to call me out. So anyway, yeah, yeah. Life cereal that? is so good. Sorry, right? Right? I don't remember that. Life cereal is really good, but Mikey it's not. So. It's not. It's so. oh motherfucker. <laughs> it's not. It's not better than Captain Crunch, even though you have to fucking go to the ER after eating. Captain this is Crunch. true. And, and then you get Crunch Berries on the bench. Crunch berries, you know? peanut butter is peanut butter. I mean, it's another one. But All right, again. All right. Yeah. So now moving on to the last two uh, matchups here, Apple Jacks taking on Rice Krispies. Okay, again, I see Apple Jacks and I think tasty, but Rice Krispies is like a state. This might be an upset, is what I'm saying. This is a staple for me. Growing up, Rice Krispies was always in the pantry. It was it was it was always a go to. So clearly, I'm taking the ten seat over the seven here. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're ten minutes on ten cereal. minutes on cereal. <laughs> Last matchup: Reese's Puffs versus Tricks. All right, there was one. All right, without even thinking. Re- First of all, Reese's Puffs with a two seed. My God, yeah, get the fuck out of here! That's what I'm saying. I'm not like, even where, where are we coming list? up with this? Shit? First of all, there's several snubs that I'm thinking of. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe yeah. we're on the same wavelength here. Cookie crisp? Cookie crisp. Oh, my God, shit. What? dude. <laughs> this penis of a mic just blasted me in the mouth. What the fuck was that? Cookie crisp. That was uncomfortable. Crisp. Cookie crisp, bro. Cookie crisp. So good. Yeah, bro. Cookie crisp is I couldn't legendary. go. Oh, my God. Have you ever had it? Well, I get it. When I think of cookie crisp, it's crazy because <laughs> when you think about it, analyst. it's literally a bowl of cookies. cookies. Like all that's all you're eating for <laughs> breakfast. How did this catch nutritious. on? So, how did on, this catch bro. on? I don't get it. Are, I, I crush up my cookie crisp and put it in my ice cream. All right, you know all what? Right, so I, like that, right, so now, now we're talking have, about now that you have the, the the sixteen teams, who comes out of this thing? Chris, your opinion first. Oh, who man. wins this tournament? Who's, Who's the greatest tournament? cereal? Bro, honestly, in this tournament, on this list at least, in, in my my opinion, if there's 16 boxes of cereal in the cabinet and I'm going for one, it's the Fruity Pebbles, bro. It's All right, the 16 so the 16 seed, seed is going to shock the, fru- the world. And, uh, Who's you know. winning this, Ibby? I get it. It's tough because, like I said before, I'm a huge <laughs> so Captain serious. Crunch fan. But <laughs> if all of them are in there and I have to pick one, I, I'm going with the one seed. I'm going. With, I'm going with Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Wow, wow. That's, that's what I'm going with. CTC. Yeah, I'm, okay, it's, it's I'll tough. tell you right now. There will, you took a 16, Chris. I'm taking the four seed. Honey Nut Cheerios. Yeah, bro. rocks everybody. Just just Dave's, and Dave's and heart healthy. Just because Cheerios were given heart the healthy. shaft. Anyway, heart healthy, Dave. I'm proud of you. I like it. Right. I like right. it. Heart and, healthy. And, you know, Conscious. if someone goes down with an injury, you, my do have, you always have that bench. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> with all the, you yep. know. So anyway, Moving we on. go from we go from nice and relaxed and beautiful tournament play <laughs> to something that uh, Winston Bloomfield posted a poll on Chop Sports. The Bobby Ganoush's bud. Bobby Ganoush's buddy. Winston, I have to um, actually reach out to you about some possible editing. I know ah, that, there you we know, go. I've been told that you got some editing skills and so you're yeah, down. let's do it. Always working. It. Always but, working. Yeah. But he posted something very controversial. However, not much of a, a, a debate, according to the votes. Is golf a sport? Yes. Ibby says yes right away. I said yes on the poll. Yes. It is a sport. It's just not a sport that I'm willing to fucking play. Right. That's fine. But I'm saying, like, th- there's people out there and I'm, that think it's a hobby and think it's oh, a no, game. No, and no, I'm just no, like, you know how hard golf is? Walk a course. Walk a course. 
right. It's, uh, like, it's again, like fucking 25 miles. To, to like, work like, off of that, I, I did make a post on this, and someone did happen to call me out on it comparing what I said to going out and you know catching butterflies, which I thought was ridiculous to say. <laughs> and I just told him to I relax. Missed this. I missed I just this. told him to relax. But the point I was making was over the summer, <laughs> I picked up golf because of the quarantine. So, I again, I'm not that good, but I'm trying. But I was able to play – Plainfield Country Club. And again, that is a PGA course. Yeah. The Barclays were there. Like Dustin Johnson won on that course. Like it's it's an incredible course to to play. But the fact that I played that in the heat, 95, I walked the entire thing. We're talking 20,000 steps, holding my bag the entire time. All you, I, no all you, I, no watch, caddies, all you no, Apple no. Watch users out there know what fucking 20,000 steps 20, is. 20,000 steps day, in right? like five and a half hours. So that in itself, and let's let's not forget... When you're not that good, you're swinging that club a oh, lot. That's why, you're I, it, that's why I can't play. That's why I can't play so, golf, dude. I don't have the patience. Again, play. it's a sport. And to the guy succeed, that called me I, out, again, I quit. it's a sport. Yeah, not for, catching butterflies. For, for, I don't right? succeed, for those I quit. Who, yeah, simple. But I'm <laughs> just saying, like, for those who are like, oh, you know, if you can get better as you get drunk. I think it was uh, Shine who said that. He's like, well, if you can get better at it as you get drunker, it's not a sport. Beer pong, like, uh, like ba- uh, cornhole. And he put golf in there. Who gets better at golf see, when they're drunk? See, I have some variations that I would love to make. I can't even make. stand straight when I'm drunk. You want me to swing a golf club and hit a ball this big? Like, let's what are just we doing? Say, let's just say when the alcohol gets involved when you're playing, the score, doing well, all of a sudden, just goes down. What dive. about, what about uh, yeah, and who's to say that, yeah, exactly. No one gets better at it. But anyway, what about like a speed golf? That I would be down for. Instead of counting the strokes, like I hit the ball and it's like, Go. You hit it and you run after your ball and then hit it again real fast. And oh, like, and make it like it a time take, game? Yeah, like time it instead. And then you see, You might be onto something, Chris. Yeah. What? Bro, I here would love to do sports. We're here have, creating sports. They used now. to have it, I think, in Tiger Woods. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like way back in the day, I wanted to be Wait, on the video games? games? Yeah. Oh, such anyway. A good game. Um, or what back. Ben Askren mm-hmm. does. Mm-hmm. If you see anyone see the new Ben Askren video of him, the training montage. Oh, that he did my God. I posted it today on my. Well, in in one of those clips, he's running through his property. I guess it's like his land. And you see a disc golf. Thing sitting in the fucking so he plays disc golf. Does anybody know what disc golf is? Not a clue. I don't know, bro. You put a thing in a golf hole, right? And it's got chains in a bucket, and you just throw frisbee at it, and you gotta hit the chains and like get it in the disc. You know the disc in okay, the bucket. Okay, sounds interesting. So it's basically just counts his throws instead of <laughs> yeah disc golf. Look that shit up. Disc golf. <laughs> That's a sport. All right, all right. Well, look, ninety eight people out of a hundred and like twenty five said it was a sport. 17 of you clowns said no. So I, I challenge all 17 of you guys to go play the course that Ibby played on for at 95-degree weather Wait, in August. Ibby's a which, by so- the way, not to cut you off, we are well, doing the golf. I know. Yeah. <laughs> then don't cut me off. But we are doing the golf outing. Actually, I just got into negotiations with one of our newest sponsors. He works at a country club. He is getting it set up. Talk to you after that because that's big. We're getting, we're getting on the golf course. So... That's going to be fun. Love it. So, Ibby, you're a Seinfeld guy, right? Big Seinfeld guy. So, yeah, I, think I, about I, disc, fall disc, out of this one. disc golf. Like Frolf? Is like Frolf. Like Frolf. Summer okay. of George, baby. Okay. Believe it or not, George <laughs> isn't at home. Please leave a message, <laughs> message at the beep. beep. There you go. Way over my head. My father liked Seinfeld. I never really got into it. Where I watch it. Could I watch it when it's on. Be. You know, with whatever. Believe it or not, anyway, I'm man. not home. <laughs> so, as we move on to. Category number three, or status number three, uh, by somebody that's near and dear to Gooch's heart, uh, your brother, Carl, uh, came up with a really good one. Uh, he wanted he wants to hear, and he saw, the the Mount Rushmore. What, what triggered this was that uh, it's the 29-year anniversary, or 28 years, or one of those things, of White Man Can't Jump. 29 years. 29 years. Why like, not 30 years? Like, you should have waited a year to post this. <laughs> Way to go, 30, on, on year 30. But anyway, so... The Mount Rushmore of of uh, sports movies, and I love this one because I'm a sports movie buff, and I love them all. Um, That's and, what makes it so hard, right? It, it does. It so hard. And and there was a lot of people in there saying like, you know, you could do a Mount Rushmore of the Rocky movies by himself, except for five. Nobody likes five. Uh, five didn't Tom, happen. Tommy Gunn just <laughs> sucks. Uh, but overall, do you have yours, Ibby? I mean, I I tried to to and remember Mount again, Rushmore break it down. Are our faces across, so, so it's not like there's one and four. Like it's the four that you think should be there. You know what I mean? Like there's no like from four to one is what I'm no, saying. No, I, I get you. And again, I, I, like, I listed. I know what Mount Rushmore is. Dave <laughs> <Yeah. Biggs. laughs> I did list the four again. I I think I can easily change this four, you know, on a, on a given day. But when asked, and I, I did it real quick, I put down 
Remember the Titans. I love Remember the Titans. Okay. Major League. I'm a big baseball guy, so I love Major League. As well as The Sandlot is another one. And then finally, maybe a little out of left field, if you will. Again, baseball theme because I'm a baseball guy. But A League of Their Own. I love wow. I love yeah. A League of Their Own. But again, there are so many other ones that I have listed on here. Like, I love The Replacements. I love 61. I love Any Given Sunday. I love Love and Basketball. You like, there are the tra- so <laughs> The train many. moves, not the station. <laughs> <laughs> it's so... It's tough, but uh, if, right. if you're asking for four, I There's at least four. for today. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'll I'm, go with now, that. as much as you're a baseball guy, all, well, three out of the four of mine are football related. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and any given Sunday is my favorite movie of all movies, not yeah. just sports genre. That's my favorite movie. I got taken to see it way too young when it came out, and I was just like, this is. <laughs> Way too much for a kid that my age should be seeing right now. Thank you. God rest your soul, John. Uh, your dad brought us, and uh, we saw a whole lot of stuff that I've never seen before. But any given Sunday is But let me ask movie. you a question. Yeah. Did you like the jambalaya? <laughs> <laughs> it's the biggest piece of shit I've ever tasted. Anyway. Oh, and that's another thing. When I started wrestling, uh, one of the promo classes, my trainer, uh, Pat Buck, was saying to me, said, uh, you got to memorize a speech and, and present it. Mm-hmm. What do you think speech I memorized? Oh, that, that halftime speech. The, the inches speech yeah, is inches. one of the greatest football speeches of all time. Yeah. Like, they're everywhere around <laughs> us. Like, I trust me, I got it. It's down, down cold. But then I got Major League as my baseball rep. Mm-hmm. Like, dude, Major League. And Major League 2 was amazing as well because I, I you know, Rube Baker is one of my favorite. Right. You know, <laughs> I don't care and about Wild Thing comes no back, it comes right. out. It's awesome. I mean, they had to change. Willie Mays Hayes was just kind of awkward, but whatever. Yes. And Jack Parkman, like, that whole storyline's great. Yeah. But Major League 1, the original. Mm-hmm. Like, I think it was actually somebody, when I was talking about softball, and he didn't see himself on, like, one of the lists, right, on one of the rosters. Is it Mangine? Mangine, yeah. yeah. He comes up, and he's like, he's like did, I, did I get cut already? So I thought I'd run away <laughs> of Wesley Snipes waking up outside. Like, shit, I've been cut already? <laughs> so uh, Major League makes it. Necessary Roughness is one okay. of my favorite movies ever. Okay. Paul Blake. Sinbad, Manu Manu, the Slender, bro. Kathy yeah. Ireland, the kicker. Kathy Ireland, the kicker, which way ahead of their time because now it's actually a thing and he's, mm-hmm. she's going to be drafted by the Packers. the Packers. According to Bobby Ganoush, <laughs> keeps on telling me. He kept saying it yesterday at the bar. He's like, you're going to get that girl Sarah. And Ashley's like, what the fuck are you, is he keep on talking about? Like, Why are you saying no, that my boyfriend's going to get a girl named Sarah? And the right. Packers are supposedly going to draft the kicker, but they're not. They're going to draft yeah, another quarterback. Hilarious. But anyway, necessary roughness. Car- <laughs> Coach Wally Riggendorf, that, whole, that speech, I memorized that. Mm-hmm. You know, like, what is this? A double, 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 double. Like, it's just one of those, oh, what a great movie. And then, rounding them out, is Rudy. It's the okay. ultimate guy cry movie. Like, oh, he gets yeah. accepted. He gets accepted See, like, into Rudy Notre Dame. Differ. I'm like, I'm like with the type of person to be like, I fucking can't watch. It. Like, Rudy's like, ugh. Oh. Overdone when he gets accepted into college and he just starts like, <gasps> and he just starts, I, dude, I don't care where I am, who I'm in front of, I got to look away. Yeah. I have to look away because I, I start to cry. I, I get real guy cry movie on that one. Yeah. Big, big, just, you know, it is what it is. But that, uh, you, Gooch, what's your Mount Rushmore? Do you have one? Bro, I'm not going to do a Mount Rushmore because you okay, guys why, just well, did it. Okay, you know, why do and, the thing that we're no, talking about? What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to go a little subjective. bit. It's I'm going to go it a little is. bit off yeah. the cuff a little Let's bit. Let's do it. Let's right? do it. And this is a thing that I've actually brought up in Chop Sports before, and it would have been interesting to make the Chop Three at one point if we were doing this then. But is Naked Gun a sports movie? I must kill. The Queen, <laughs> right? The, hands down, one of the best Reggie's sports finest scenes hour. in any movie, Reg- right? You got the juices in it, Norberg. Yeah. Oh right? my so God. you got OJ, you got the baseball scene, Reggie Jackson. Mm-hmm. I mean, what more do you want out of a fucking movie to do with sports? <laughs> and Leslie Nielsen. He's the best. You know? He's one of Enrico the best. Enrico fucking Palazzo, baby. Hey, Enrico Palazzo. Steve, right? Hey, 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 hey. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> All right. I right? like that one. I like that one. I like it. So then, would you consider... Karate Kid, a sports movie. Yeah, karate right? is a sport. Yeah. So then, I think somebody put Karate Kid. Yeah, I right. think so. What, I think I saw somebody. What about what Kid. about uh, this is now maybe aging, not even aging myself because I think this was even before me. But Heaven Can Wait. Never is saw that it. a sports movie. I never saw it. It's about a football player who dies, okay. right? And um, well, whatever, he gets a chance to come back and redo things. But you know, oh. interesting. It's Sounds a like sport, a good concept. Sports okay. connotation, but is it a sports movie? If so, I put it on my Mount Rushmore, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. And then we go with the cult classic. For all the wrestling, I know that we got a big wrestling following, but fucking Vision Quest, baby. Loud and Swain and yeah. shoot. What is right? that? Well, Vision Quest is one of the I, best movies. Wait, baby. like amateur wrestling or pro wrestling? No, it's like scholastic, you know, high school wrestler. Oh, I thought shit. you were talking about like wrestling yeah, wrestling. No, then how do you no, leave out no, no holds barred? No. Or I, well, <laughs> well, I was going to oh, say, God, what about the wrestler with Mickey Rourke, too? It's another right. one. 
is, 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 is over the top. Yes. Bro, over the yes, top. Bro. The fucking just, bro, these are what? fucking cla- Like, How could you tell me that any movie ever is better than over the top? Yeah. <laughs> I made my right? wife watch that, and she's like, they made an arm wrestling movie? I'm like, Bro, you're goddamn right. Legendary. And he drove a truck, right? <laughs> to, to all his fucking tournaments, he drove about, a fucking Mack truck <laughs> to his fucking tournament. About, you talk about a guy with just brass nuts. Bro, <laughs> like, come so on, Sylvester Stallone, in that time frame, was you just weren't touching Sly, bro. You no. weren't. But anyway, is that is that all you got for that one? Because I know those are yeah, great, I think actually. I got, that's all I got. And Moneyball. I love Dude, Moneyball. Another movie that I can I love start Moneyball. and never never take my eyes off it. Love that if movie. If it's on, and I'm Jonah watching Hill it. is one of the fucking Oh, you know what? Underrated. Now that you... Uh, I know. <laughs> right? Doesn't he get really excited when he brings the trade in? But no, what about... Uh, you, you bring up something like that where it's like front office Bro, draft day. Oh, the Miami Dolphins this season? <laughs> We're going to get to that later in the... <laughs> well, <laughs> draft day, bro. I love draft day. As ridiculous as I it is, I love. Back. Um, <laughs> this, is, this, is where, this is where we fall. This is where we differ because I think that was one of the fucking corniest movies. I've ever oh seen. man, it, Kevin! If Costner you love really the draft, it, it's fun to watch. Right. But I thought that they, head, like I you, thought that they yeah, took guys, a lot I don't of like it. The just, draft. I'm, one, I'm, I'm the one football play, uh, football fan that doesn't like the draft, guys. So I'm a free agent bad. through and through. Maybe uh, maybe I'll watch the draft this year and check out the the new that, that movie and maybe I'll have a different opinion after I watch the draft progress folks <laughs> anyway a great phenomenal chop social we want to thank matt ibanez for coming on board with thank us you very much and like i said see how he did that was wonderful he comes in interacts he loves it if you want to be with us in studio chop social bring the we're smoke here, he brought it twice today so it's time for you to bring it so for that it's sturch it's gooch it's Ibby, and it's anthony over there we'll see you next time